season 40, war number 1, and we are up against The Matrix. This time my team will be Tigra, Kitty Pride, and Professor X. To start off this season I have quite a few fights, I'm gonna be taking path 5 in section 1, as well as that Nick Fury on the shared fight. And then I'm gonna be taking path 1 in section 2, as well as that Hulkling and Omega Sentinel. All the left side mini bosses this time around, as well as that spot boss. I have quite a few fights with Professor X to ramp him up so that he is fully ramped up for the spot boss, since that is probably the scariest fight that I've taken in a while. Up first we have a thing on the event flow knockdown and right back at it nodes, and I'm taking this fight with Professor X. Now I am not using Tigra because this node has the force of will node, making neutralize not apply on the defender, which means that I can't pause my senses, and I can't prevent things buffs with it either. So Tigra is out of the picture here, Kitty Pride was my other option, but then I figured that Professor X does work for a thing if you only use the special 3 when the protection is down. The protection triggers after the special 3 damage, so you should be able to take down things just fine as long as you just keep that in mind. I'm gonna be ramping up my channeling charges to 100, get into my special 3, and then knocking down the defender to remove the event flow protection. Then I just gotta make sure that the thing's own protection is not active, and then just drop the special 3 for some big damage. I won't be able to cycle my special 3s, because, well, as soon as I throw my first special 3, he will trigger the protection, and then I need to wait it out before I can throw another one. Now, all that being said, all that's really left here to take care of is things unstoppable, and the easiest way to deal with that is to simply just play the rock stacks. Beta special after every 15 rock stacks he gets, and then the unstoppable will not be an issue. All in all, this fight is pretty simple for Professor X, and it's a great way to give him a charge early on, to make the special 3 spam fights a bit easier, or rather safer, I guess, with the extra prowess on the special 3. Now, this is the first war of the season, and as usual, some fights don't really go as well as they should, because of the off-season break we've all had, and this one is no different. Up until this point this fight has gone perfectly fine, no real issues or any mistakes. But for whatever reason, here, after knocking him down, I just eat a special one. I have no idea how or why I did that, but that happened and that is gonna cost me some potions, which is unfortunate because they can get pretty expensive if you have to waste them like this. Either way, thing goes down and my Professor X gets a charge from it. Luckily I do have a pretty nice stash of potions, well, for now at least, so at least for the time being I can keep my champions topped up. But if I keep making mistakes like this, it may not be as simple as that. Next up we have a Mordo on the Ebon Flow Knockdown and Heavy Hitter nodes, and I'm taking this fight with Professor X. Now, instead of using an invulnerability boost here like I would normally do, I used a special 3 defense instead, just because I was running pretty low on the grey boosts at the end of last season, so I gotta be a bit more careful with how I use them. Otherwise I'm gonna start I'm gonna have to start spending units on them and they are very expensive. Now the game plan here is to do the usual special 3 spam, and to get to that special 3 I'm just gonna be doing normal attacks, or rather basic attacks as well as heavy attacks to ramp up the channeling charges, and the main thing I need to worry about is the power gain on Mordo. And once again, I messed up the spacing on that special 2. I wanted to punish it with my heavy attack, I don't need to do that, I just went for it because I'm used to doing it. But I messed it up, ate the last hit, 
Of course it crit for 17,000, so that is gonna cost me some potions as well. Now I got my special 3 and the fight is over. So that's nice I guess. But again, two fights down and I got clipped in both of them. Not a great start for the season. Then we have a Nick Fury on the Ebon Flow Knockdown and right back at it nodes, and I'm taking this fight with Kitty Pride. I do have the White Magneto pre-fight here to help me with building up prowess, as well as to give me some extra attack as well. Now, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to take this fight with Professor X or Kitty Pride, but I chose to use Kitty Pride instead, mainly because this Nick Fury is a global defender, so if I block attacks, He's gonna be gaining those flourish buffs that increase his combat power rate or maybe even any power rate. I'm not exactly sure how that works with passive power gain. Haven't really seen it in action yet. But yeah, I was a little bit worried about that since if Nick Fury keeps spamming his special ones, Professor X can't face them like Kitty can. So... Yeah, I was worried that the power gain might get out of hand. Now here I tried to go for the face heavies in the corner. I got resisted both times. Luckily he didn't punish me for it. If he did, I might have even died to this fight. So that was very stupid of me, very risky to do, and I just shouldn't have done that. Now this fight has come pretty fast so far even without the recoil masteries and that's mainly because I keep knocking him down with heavy attacks to remove the protection unlike well a season or two ago when I used to take this guy here I used to just ignore the protection but this way is definitely the way to go now with the protection down and Nick Fury at 13% I went ahead and used my special 3 to finish him off and the fight went down pretty nicely I did mess up a bit with those heavy attacks, but hey, at least I didn't get punished for it. Next up we have a Hulkling on the sloped armor and buffet over time nodes, and I'm taking the fight with Tigra. The game plan is to use an advanced power boost to start the fight with a bar of power, and then I'm gonna be parrying him at the start, throwing a few hits to trigger neutralize, then holding block to bait a heavy attack from him, Punishing it with my heavy, and that gets me enough power to get to my special 2. I throw it, and it does a lot of damage. Gets me back up to a special 1 with Mystic Power Boosts and Rupture Triggers. I change the special 1 in, and the fight is over in 15 seconds. Very fast Tigra fight, and a very satisfying at that. Then we have a black cat on the never back down node, and I'm taking this fight with Professor X to get his last persistent charge. Now I didn't use the mutant power boosts for this fight, because I still need to use Tigra for a few fights after this. So I can't do the usual special 3 spam, but I figured that that would be fine, since black cat is a pretty weak defender, or at least I figured that it would be. Now the game plan was to get to as close to a special 3 as possible, while not getting to 3 bars, so I can spam a couple special 2s. Now the first special 2, I didn't get any crits. I used Falter to land an intercept, go for another special 2, no crits again, I tried to charge my heavy and drop a special 1, I missed the timing and got comboed, now I'm getting bleed damage here as well. And I'm just gonna have to use a bunch of potions once again, because I just messed up. Now at this point I used the falter again here to get the special 3 with that opening. And this special 3 does take her down. But once again, a very simple fight, but I simply just messed it up because I suck. Now I will use the fact that this is the first war of the season as an excuse but that's not gonna fly after this war, so we'll see what happens next.
And then we have a long shot on the buffet overtime node, and I'm taking this fight with Kitty Pride. Now, I was a little bit worried about this fight since I am not running my record masteries. It's gonna be a longer fight because I'm only using basic attacks. So, to kinda substitute for not changing my masteries for this single fight here, I popped an invulnerability boost. Now, looking back, that was wasted because, like I said, I'm not using specials. So, getting to my special 3 as a safety net is something that I will be doing here. Now, the game plan here was to simply never trigger decks so that Buffet wouldn't be an issue. I will simply just be blocking or parrying his special 1s, and that's it. If I accidentally push into his special 2, same thing, I'm just gonna be either blocking or parrying it. Or I guess facing that one as well, since I can actually miss it. So this is all I need to do to take the guy down, and it sounds simple enough. What could I possibly mess up here? The fight is almost over, and with this special one, instead of blocking it or parrying it like I have been doing the entire fight, I decided to dex it instead. For no reason, and that made the fight last longer than it needed to once again. It's not a big mistake, but it's still a mistake, and I need to really make sure that I don't keep doing dumb stuff like this for the rest of the season and hopefully the seasons after that. A long shot goes down and this was the last kitty fight of this war, so no more boring medium light combos for an entire 2 minutes or so. Next up we have an Omega Sentinel on the strike counter block penetration node and I'm taking the fight with Tigra. I switch the invulnerability boost to an advanced power boost not for this fight, but for the fight after this one. But since I'm taking this fight with Tigra as well, it will be fast enough for the boost to carry over to the next one. The game plan here was the same as against the Hulkling. I first hit her to trigger neutralize to prevent any possible armor ups. Then I bait and punish two heavy attacks with my heavy. Drop a big special too, and then I get enough power to get back up to a special one. I chain it in, and that finishes her off. A very simple fight. I gotta say, Tigra is so satisfying to play, and this next fight is no exception to that. And then we have a Terrax on the power efficiency and missing in action miniboss node. And I'm using Tigra for this fight. The game plan is to use the advanced power boost that I popped for the previous fight to start the fight with a bar of power, and then I'm gonna be going for two aggro sets at the start of the fight by baiting a dash attack from him, dexing it and punishing it with a heavy attack. That gives me enough power to get to my special 2 with 6 ruptures on the opponent. I drop the special 2, it nukes him down well past 50%. I chain in a couple heavies, get back up to another special 2, throw it and the fight is over just like that. Hera actually didn't have a chance to do anything here, and yeah, Tigra is awesome. And then we have a Doctor Doom on the combat Deja Vu Prowess and Conflictor miniboss node, and I'm taking the fight with Professor X. I have my mutant boosts active, I use an advanced power boost to speed up the fight a little bit, and I also have White Magneto pre-fight here, so that I can completely bypass the Conflictor node. The game plan is to get the Special 3 with 100 channeling charges, and then spam Special 3s until Doom goes down. But the way I built myself up there is a little bit different than your usual fight. I can't use the same basic attack twice in a row because of the Combat Deja Vu node, 
So if I were to do that, Doom would get a prowess buff as well as a bunch of block penetration. And that's not something I want to deal with because I will be parrying a lot in this fight. So the way I get around that is by alternating my hits. I go for heavy and after that I go for parry, medium, light, medium for example and then parry heavy again. The point is that I can't use the same attack twice in a row. Now I got the special 3 with 100 generating charges so the fight is basically over. Just gonna be spamming special 3s over and over again until he goes down. Now I'm sure everyone here has already seen Professor X's special 3 animation many times by now, but instead of cutting these things out I simply just speed them up a bit because I don't really like cutting my fights completely. So I do include the timestamps in the description in case people do want to skip some fights or just look at some specific nodes for example. But yeah, Doom went down without any real issues. I did take some shock damage as well as some block damage there, but that is to be expected from a rank 5 Doom. Next up we have an Annihilus on the Aspect of Evolution miniboss node, and I'm taking the fight with Tigra. I will use Advanced Power Boost here to speed up the fight a bit. It's not really needed, but might as well since it will carry over to the boss fight as well. I start the fight by baiting a heavy by accident, I punished it too late and didn't get the ruptures on that heavy. Technically I could have gotten parried there by standing ground as well. Luckily that didn't happen. Very a special one, punished it correctly with my heavy attack, got to my special two, threw it. He's almost down. I chain a heavy attack into a special one, and there he goes. Another sub 30 second fight from Tigra, even on the miniboss island. And yeah, she just destroys most cosmics. Now I'm just waiting for a teammate to go and place a white magneto pre-fight on the boss for me. It's not really needed, but any extra damage is always welcome. So, now we have the final fight of this war. A spot boss that I'm gonna be taking with Professor X. And the game plan is the good old special 3 spam with mutant power boosts. I still have the advanced power boost active from the previous fight, so I start this fight with a bar of power just to speed things up a little bit. Now my game plan was to bait and punish his heavy attacks, my heavy, but for some reason they were not connecting. Professor X's heavy reach is quite a lot bigger than it looks, so I really don't know why I wasn't hitting this, but at the, at the very least I wasn't getting punished for it. Now I'm at 100 channeling charges, so all I need to do is get to a special 3 and the fight is over. I am cornered, but that is fine. I don't mind playing in the corner. But right there, my heavy got parried by stand your ground. Now, luckily Professor X's heavy attack is non-contact, so I didn't get stunned. But that could have ended badly. Now what triggered the unt untouchable there? after eating a special one from him, so I just waited it out before dropping my special three, just because I wasn't sure if there would be something about Untouchable that could mess me up. Looking at his abilities after the match, I don't think there is anything that would affect this special three spam, so I didn't need to wait it out, but that is something that I don't really want to risk doing in Alliance War fights. I don't want to do something if I'm not 100% sure that I can do it. But that being said, I did mess up the fight a little bit by eating that special one and, well, missing those heavy punishes. But the fight went down without any bigger issues. I didn't get comboed and I still finished the fight with 70% of my HP left and it was quite an easy fight. As for the results, we did end up winning the war 17 to 2. Matrix had some real issues and they even kicked someone mid-war for dying a few times. So not really their best showing, but I'll take it to start this season off. 